Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do a first impressions of Bliss Cosmetics. So I looked up online because I was trying to find my links to link stuff down below. And I actually don't think Bliss has their cosmetics line anymore. I went to the Bliss website. They don't have any makeup products. Um, I recently got these products from Big Lots and Big Lots like is one of those stores where if like a big store has overstock then they'll kind of give it to Big Lots to sell at a cheaper price. When you buy stuff from Big Lots you can save a bunch of money so I got these for a huge fraction of the cost of what they originally were so I found an article online from the blog budgetbeautyblog.com um, and the launch of this makeup was from 2015 so I really hope that this stuff isn't expired it looks fine it smells fine so I'm gonna use it I bought it I like it I'm gonna use it so today we're gonna do first impressions of that it's not gonna be a full face of bliss but it's gonna be an almost full face of bliss so let's get to it okay so I'm gonna clip my hair back get it out the way so it's not in the way of my face okay so first, I plan on using a matte lippy today, so we're going to go ahead and do a lip balm first so that can soak in while we're doing the rest of our makeup to get our lips prepared because matte lippies can be very drying. I'm going to be using a, a NYX one, NYX brand NYX. Okay, so now I'm going to prime my face. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. You don't want to use too much of this product because it can make your face end up looking really greasy. So, woo, that was a little bit too much, but it'll soak in the skin. I'm using about that much. I'm just going to rub it all over my face. to get a nice base laid out for our foundation and concealer. So next I'm going to use the mm, Powder Me. Um, it's Bliss's Buildable Powder Foundation. Now I got this from Big Lots for $3.50. Now let me tell you the original price. According to this lady's blog, the original price was $34, and this line was launched in the Kohl's stores. So, originally this was $34, and I got it for $3.50. That is like a $31 savings, which is amazing. Okay, so... You get a nice little compact like this. I got the shade Ivory because this was the lightest shade I could find at Big Lots. The shade range, you kind of had to dig through the bins to find it. And you open it and it has a little sticker over the mirror. It comes with a little sponge. You take it out. It says, you're perfect, baby, which I think is absolutely adorable. I'm going to take the film off the mirror. And I can use this mirror while I'm putting the foundation on. Okay, so we're gonna just little flip the little thing open and get to it. I'm gonna stick my finger lightly in it just to kind of see what the texture's like. Um, it's very powdery. I'm not trying to flip y'all off. <laughs> um, let me see. I'm gonna just put a little bit on my face. And it seems like it's going to take a minute to build up. 
Okay, so I'm gonna just go in with the sponge and we'll do this. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay, so y'all. I ain't ivory, I tell you that right now. So, uh, this is gonna take a lot of blending and I'm probably gonna look orange. And I'm so sorry. Um, as you can see, I'm not ivory. <laughs> okay? And, uh, it looks lighter in the compact than it does on the face. And I hope this does not oxidize because I'm going to look like a Oompa Loompa, which I kind of already do. So I'm really going to have to blend this out very thinly across my face. I think I might have put a little bit too much on in that area. I think I overestimated. Um, but that's okay, you know. That's okay. We're going to just have to blend it down onto the neck. And hopefully it won't be that noticeable. I'm kind of sad because I was excited about this product. And... I don't know if I'm going to wear this foundation again. <laughs> y'all, I know y'all are probably laughing at me. I'm laughing at myself. This is, mm-mm, I'm pale. I am pale, honey. Oh my gosh. I am, this might not be the best way to apply this, but I'm using it. I'm using the little sponge. I hope I'm getting this blended out really well. Obviously the lighting, like how you're seeing it on the camera, is going to be a little bit different. Um, how I'm seeing it here in person, it's not looking too bad. I just look like I got a little bit of a tan. Um, but I'm sure to y'all, you're probably like, girl. And trust me, I know. I'm uh, sorry. I'm sorry. You know, we just gonna be catfishing a few people. They ain't gotta know that I'm like paper white. I think I put too much on there. I'm a little bit scared. I'm a lot of bit scared actually because I'm not sure how I feel about this. Um, first of all, this is just way too dark. Second of all, um, my face is kind of tingling a little bit. Like, I hope I'm not having an allergic reaction to this because, I mean, I just washed my face and exfoliated before I did this, so maybe that's just why. But, um, if you have very dry skin and you have dry patches, this is going to cling on to it. This is going to cling on to it pretty bad. So, as you can see around my mouth, in the corner of my nose, I'm looking a little cakey. So, hopefully, when I add the concealer, I can fix this um but I'm gonna just finish up with the foundation and I'll come back with the concealer and we'll see what we can do so next I'm gonna go in with the undercover secret full coverage foundation I mean full coverage concealer I got this from Big Lots for two dollars and eighty cents and the original price was twenty five dollars so that is like a $22 savings, which is freaking crazy. Um, this is in the shade Porcelain. The uh, foundation was in the shade Ivory. So this should match my skin tone a little better. Um, it's in a little squeezy tube like this. And it has a little sponge applicator at the end with the hole where the product is going to come out 
Let me try and squeeze a little bit up. This is the Undercover Secret Full Coverage Concealer. Um, as you can see, there ain't nothing secret about this. I mean, I guess the secret is where is the product? Because it looked like a full tube. And then you kind of mix it up a little bit. And it's flat. Um, this is supposed to be... Six milliliters or six ml slash point two full ounces. So, um, I'm a little sad about that because it's like, what, how far is that gonna get you? Really? So, the product is squeezing out through there, and so. Woo! Okay, it just shot out a little bit, but that's okay. And I'm going to just put it on with a little sponge that's provided. I know some people are weird about using the applicators that are like built onto the um product. But, hey, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And ain't nobody always got time to dig through the drawer and find a brush. Oh my, that's a lot of products. Woo! So I'm gonna put this on my under eyes. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit up here because I have some zits up here. I have redness around here. Get some more product out. So this product's pretty hard to squeeze out of the applicator. So um, I guess that's one of the reasons why I can see they probably discontinued this because people probably complained about that a lot. After I kind of put the concealer on my face where I want it, I had to pull out my little dirty beauty blender sponges. These aren't real beauty blenders. Like, they're really cheap, like, knockoff brands. They're not, like, a specific brand. I got them both from TJ Maxx. I got a little mini one and then a bigger one. So we're just going to start bouncing it in and blending it, and hopefully it turns out well. <laughs> I was excited when I got this stuff. I had high hopes. I was like, ooh, it's bliss. Yes. And I was like, oh, it's so cheap. I'm getting a good deal. And I did not know that the makeup was pretty old and that they discontinued it, so it might not be that good. Um, I used drugstore foundations and concealers that seemed to work better than this is working so I'm not too happy with this right now but the more you this is my first time trying this stuff out so the more you use it the more familiar you get with it and you might hate something right now and then a month later you might love it so it, the concealer seems to be blending out really well. You just got to be kind of patient with it. Um, so I'm happy about that. It's really covering up my dark circles under my eyes. My sleep schedule has been so off. And so I got those under eye bags and dark circles, but it's okay. It is, if you're wondering, it's like 4 o'clock in the morning when I'm filming this, so I'm about to take all my makeup off after this, after I take some pictures and maybe do one more video, I'm not sure, and then go to sleep and probably sleep all day. <laughs> That's my life. Okay, so as you can see... Again, like the foundation, the concealer is going to cling onto your dry patches and look cakey in those areas. 
but it's not as bad as the foundation like I put the concealer over the foundation and it's kind of helped even stuff out it blended out pretty well and it covers really well it says it's full coverage and I agree with that again my face is a little itchy so I think this stuff might be expired so I don't know if I'm going to use this anymore I'm a little sad because I was very excited about this makeup so I'm gonna go in and set my face with my is this wet and wild yes wet and wild coverall pressed powder um i got this from walmart a while back on clearance for 75 cents and it said it was originally two dollars and 93 cents um i didn't get a bliss setting powder because they didn't have one at big lots i got what they had so I'm just going to put this all over my face to set in the foundation and concealer. And I'm using just kind of like a big buffing fluffy brush. You want to tap off the excess powder from your brush. Okay, so now I'm finishing up um, powdering my face. I'm looking cakey where some of my dry spots are, but that's just something I have to deal with with my eczema and extremely dry skin. But on the places where my skin isn't so bad, it looks pretty good and smooth and tied together nice complexion so now I'm going to move on to contouring okay so next I'm going to contour my face um, I'm using the Maybelline New York master contour palette um, in the light to medium shade it has your contour your blush and your highlight I'm not gonna use the blush and I might use this highlight I'll have to wait and see um, but I have a bliss blush that I'm going to use. So first I'm going to contour. So now I'm going to contour with this brown shade. I'm using a wet n wild brush. This is their contouring brush. Um, it was really affordable. I think it was like three dollars or something like that. I might have just put a little bit too much on the brush, but we will see. You gotta just kind of go with it gonna do kind of like the forehead like or close to the hairline kind of tie everything in so we don't look you know really pale give ourselves the appearance that we kind of have a tan slightly I'm going to blend everything out a little bit better so if you're like oh that's pretty harsh we gonna blend it don't worry about it some people like a harsh contour some people don't I don't but like I just kind of do my makeup I just do it like I usually don't sit down with a plan. I just kind of am like, okay, what am I going to do? And um, I might add just a little bit around the jawline. I've heard people say not to do this, and I've heard people say to do this. So I'm not sure. You just got to do what works best for you. But now, as you can see, this looks a little too heavy, this contour. So... I'm going to kind of scrub this into the face a little bit in that area. And like what I'll do is I'll kind of go back over with my fingers and kind of blend it out more if it's looking a little bit too harsh. But we got, you know, a little contour going on. 
So now I'm going to do blush. So I'm using the Bliss Light the Glow Illuminating Gradient Powder Blush. I got this for $2.80. And the original price was $26 so that's like a $24 savings oh my gosh that's like so good this is what the little compact looks like it's a nice size good size product and it says you glow girl let me take the little film off of this we have the little there we go <laughs> it says on the mirror you glow girl and I love this because it has a pretty good size mirror um and look at this beautiful ombre this is the shade berry parfait they had three shades and I looked at all three of them and I thought this was the prettiest so you have your little reds and then you have your little pinks and so I'm gonna try and stay more on the pink side just because I'm very fair skinned so I don't want to end up looking like a clown <laughs> okay and I'm gonna go in with the elf blush brush and these are really cheap I got it from Walmart I think this was like three dollars or something like that oh okay she is pigmented so hold on now I'm gonna have to spread this out between both cheeks okay that's very pigmented this is a lot pigmented than what I'm used to um so, but we gonna make it work y'all we gonna make it work you gonna have to when stuff like this happens use your fingers get in there with your hands and really kind of smooth the product out and press it into the skin really ooh, I look like I got bitch slapped y'all this is <laughs> this is a lot more blush than what I would have put on but you know we gonna work with it and actually I'm gonna just kind of add a little bit more of what's left on the brush and we gonna go with it that's what you gotta do when you're doing your makeup and you mess up just go with it just try and make it work I'm even gonna put a little bit on my nose I know that's a big like trend right now or it has been recently like People carry their blush up onto their nose um I've seen people do it just kind of like this is like I had a big thing where I would do this like whenever I do my blush I don't know why I saw it um in a makeup tutorial one time and I was like oh that makes sense just put some on your nose I don't know but I think it's it's a cute little touch to add a little bit on your nose it kind of ties everything together um yeah so we got some little rosy cheeks going. Um, you know, it's the winter time. It looks like I'm kind of, you know, been out in the cold and I'm a little chilly. And it's like, baby, it's cold outside. Huh? But also, baby, I look like I got bitch slapped. So, bitch slapped by Jack Frost. This is a lot more blush than what I would normally wear. But you know what? We're going with it. Next, I'm going to highlight. Okay, so I'm going to highlight with the Wet n Wild mega glow illuminating palette eclair and this is in the shade catwalk pink let me open it so we don't have that glare but as you can see you have four beautiful shades so shimmery so glowy i'm going to use the lightest shade i might add in a little bit of this light pink into it too um and i'm also i'm gonna be applying this with a wet and wild fan brush I love doing my highlight with a fan brush um, I feel like this was really popular a couple years ago and then everybody else quit using it because they were like ah, you don't need that. but I like it because it feels like you being like dusted by like an angel feather or something like oh so yeah so let's do that okay so I'm gonna get a little bit of this light gold shade and tap on the extra and here we go we just watch the magic like oh oh ho oh, oh, we so glowy oh yes look at that oh 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 <laughs> she lit she lit <laughs> y'all i love doing a highlight it made me feel so fancy Ooh, i'm like okay 
She be like a Greek goddess. We <laughs> putting some on the nose. Oh, yes. We about to glow. Glow. We gonna add a little bit on the chin. <laughs> Even though I got grease there that's gonna glow. But we gonna add some on the chin. We gonna add some on the forehead. Oh. This makeup's looking better and better as I go. I started out and I was like, oh no. And now I'm like, okay. Mm. Ooh, so pretty. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of that light pink highlight too on my cheekbone. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. Ooh. Yes. Yes. She is pretty. Uh huh. Ooh, ooh, glow, for sure, look at that, look at that, ooh, 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 flashy, mm. Now I'm gonna do my eyebrows, um, this eyebrow pencil, I know it's a drugstore brand, I think it's either a Maybelline, uh, Maybelline brow product or a Revlon, um, but literally all the labeling has been rubbed off, so I'm going to have to look into this for y'all. I'm going to try and link everything down below if I can. Um, but like I said, like the Bliss products, since they're discontinued, um, I can't really find them online anywhere, so I'll just link the blog that I got the prices from down below. Um, but like one end of this brow product, it has a little sponge with powder for your brows I love that and then the other side has a retractable brow pencil and so first I'm going to go in with the pencil part and I do my eyebrows kind of sloppy and very fast you know, I'm not very big into that big, thick, like, <laughs> painted on. I do my eyebrows kind of, like, sloppy and really fast. Um, I'm not really big into the whole, like, painted on, like, whew, eyebrow, like, that looks like you can just, you know, wipe off. Um, so, you're gonna be looking at me and be like, girl, how you doing your brows like that? But, I just kind of go with it, um, like, so, I, like, take the tail end first. And I like fill it in a little bit. I have like really nicely shaped eyebrows, but my eyebrow hair is very light. So I've never had to pluck or tweeze or wax my eyebrows. I'm thankful for that. And then I go under my eyebrow line. Ooh, that was a little bit thick. And then if you do that, like if you're like, oh, that's a little bit thick, you can just smear it out with your hand, with your fingers. I use my fingers a lot when I do my makeup. And I'm going to kind of do in some little strokes, strokes, <laughs> strokes, some little brow hair strokes and just kind of put in a little shape of my brow a little bit. Just kind of fill it in. Do the same thing on the other side. I'm sorry if my mirror is blocking y'all's view. How is everybody doing, by the way? What are some of your favorite products? Leave them down below. And if you have, you know, some really good suggestions for a dry skin foundation or powder or concealer, leave them down below because I can be crusty sometimes. It's embarrassing, but you know, that's my life. It's okay. I have eczema. And I have struggled with my eczema my whole life. And, you know, that's just something I've had to deal with. So as you can see, this is what I've done so far with the pencil part. And now I'm going to fill the rest in with the powder sponge. And it's got like a little springiness. It pops out and like you push. And it's like, almost like an eyeshadow, but it's like a brow. It's brow powder. And I really like this because you can be really quick and sloppy with it. I just literally, I brush it over. I just brush it over. 
and you don't have to use a ton of product this product has lasted me so long like I think it's lasted me over a year and I still haven't ran out but I do not do my makeup every day but this will last you a long time even if you did do your makeup every day and this is something that makes it really easy to do it on the go if you need to do your makeup really fast if you're running late for school or work and you do it on the bus or like in the bathroom real quick like this is just a really great brow product. Um, I didn't add any extra concealer around it or under it. Um, I didn't do a brow wax like gel or anything to hold it in place. It's just the little pencil and the powder. It's really simple and it's like, you know, they're, they're eyebrows. They're like not perfect but they're close to it I guess they don't look sloppy but they're kind of sloppily done so there you go so next we're gonna move on to the eyes okay so I am using the hey four eyes four piece eyeshadow palette I got this um, for three bucks and the original price is 24 bucks so that's a $21 savings and they came out with four of these quads and I got three of them the one I'm gonna be using in this video is the rose quad I also have the taupe quad and the apricot quad the one I'm missing is like more of a greenish one um yeah so let's get to it so you open it up and you have your four colors here um, and it says it on the back of the palette the shade names so this is frost and found tickle me pink time to unwind and mink it over so those are adorable names and yeah so let me see what we're gonna do with this first I'm going to start with frost and found and I'm gonna put that on my brow bone area Oh, and I'm using like a fluffy blending eyeshadow brush by Wet n Wild. And I'm kind of bringing this down over the whole lid. I'm not being very precise. I'm being very sloppy, actually. Like, some of y'all are probably cringing at like, like, girl, why are you doing it so sloppy like that? But... You know, this is what works for me. I get it done, I get it done quick, and it don't look too bad. So, you know, I'm not saying it's perfect. I'm not a professional. I did not go to cosmetology school. So next, I'm going to go in with Mink It Over, and I'm going to put this all over my lid. These are super shimmery shadows, very shimmery. And I'm kind of buffing and blending it up and out. I'm gonna kind of try and do like a grungy, smoky look. You should have fun when you're doing your makeup and don't worry too much about getting it perfect. This is what I have after I've kind of packed on Mink It Over 
on my lids and now I'm going to use time to unwind and I'm going to try and kind of put this in my crease and kind of smoke it out on the sides. I brought it kind of out and over and smoked it out. I, you can take your fingers and kind of blend it in. And now I'm going to try and add a pop of color with this light pink shade. Tickle Me Pink on my bottom is kind of like an eyeliner. Now I have the light pink as a liner on the bottom and now I'm going to do a winged eyeliner. Well no actually I'm not going to do a wing I'm just going to do a regular eyeliner with some liquid black eyeliner. This is the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Liner and this is in the shade it doesn't say but it's black. It's a black eyeliner. This is the liquid eyeliner, nothing special, just lining it. And now I'm going to go in with mascara. The mascara I'm going to be using is the CoverGirl So Lashy Blast Pro Mascara. Okay, so now the eyes are done, and now we're going to move on to lips. So now I'll be going in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Prague.
So, now everything's been applied. My lips look nice. Got the lipstick on. Now we're going to set our makeup. I'm going to use the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray and set my makeup with this. And this is the finished look. I'm really happy with how this look turned out. I was really scared at first with how the foundation was putting on and stuff. But after everything's been blended, it's come together really nicely. Um, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more content. And turn on your notifications so you won't miss when I post. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!